For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code PUDO at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's PUDO back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And thanks to the support from the last video, you guys kind of showed me that you really appreciated or liked what I, um, the coin method I gave you guys in the last video. So I have another one for you guys. I kind of briefly mentioned it in one of my videos, but didn't get a lot of views. So I'm guessing that not a lot of people know about it. So I'm going to make one specifically about this one also because... I need to explain the math better. Another one I kind of quickly glanced over. It's very easy to miss it. So this set's very useful. I did it. You can only do it once a week. So it's not like you can make millions of coins off of it. But one pull alone can make you half a mil. But the risk is very low. And that's what you look for when you want coin build. Anything that's a great method to make coins has to involve low risk. So like when people are saying the random team builder pack was you can make so much coins. Yeah, but you could also lose so many coins. This one, you can't lose any more than 15k. But you could make about 400k so like in my opinion anything that requires me or anything that has me losing no more than i can make in a few solo challenges but i could make something that require me almost a limited time pull is very useful in my opinion and i'm gonna make this whole video about this so i'm gonna go very slowly for everyone because i know some people just fast forward if you already not understand and you could just skip to parts you need to but some people don't understand people will ask me the same questions over and over again on how to do it so i'm just gonna do it very in depth and very very to the point of what I'm trying to say without sidetracking from it. So you go to the Ultimate Legend sets. You go to the Exchange sets. Now this one right here is the key set. So if you click into it, I already did it. You have to you have to put in 188 to 88 per uh, card there. You see, so there's eight of them. So you need 889, 88 to 89 cards to get 194 plus. Now the way this works is that each one goes for 20k, right? So eight times 20k is 160k. So you'd have to pull a card that's minimum 160k to make your money back. Now, here's the trick. If you filter them properly and you snipe them properly like I teach you in all my videos, you could easily turn this into a one where you barely lose anything. So I'm going to show you how to filter them properly. So you go to Ultimate Legends. And you go to Quality 88 to 89. Now what you're going to do is you go to... See the 20k. So you want to go to maybe Andre, Andre Reed's a new one. Let's try Wide Receiver. So 19k, okay, not bad. Let's see if there's any ones that are more filtered down. I'm gonna check. Char I personally like the Chargers filter because there's multiple Charger players. Let me try that one. See if I can find you guys the cheapest one at the moment. No, okay. So stick with stick with Andre Reed probably for now, or just pick anyone. What theoretically, whatever you see is a lot of do it, but for right now, it looks like it's Andre Reed. So you're going to want to sit here and snipe these out for about 18k a piece. So to do the quick math for you, 18k times 8. So if I'm going to do so, the, the 10 part of it is 8 times 10k is 80k times another 8k is 64k. So that comes out to 144k total. If you get them all for 18k flat, it is 144k total. So now let me show you guys the worst thing you guys could possibly pull. So remember that 144k is how much this set's going to cost you. And if you snipe them for 17k, it's going to be about, uh, let's see, like 136K. It's even less. So if you can get it for 17K, that's that's optimal. It could take an hour or two, but it's worth it to not lose any coins for people who have less coins. But I imagine if you're doing the set, you have more coins. So so now if you go to the 9495s, so they're going for 132K right now, 132K. So with my thing I said, at only 18K, it's 144K. If you pull the Siobhan Curse, you lose 12K, Plus the reductions, you lose like 20k max, 20k max. Now, if you get any of these cards, they slowly go up, obviously. So, right about so if you get a Javon Curse, McDaniel, Atwater, Morton Anderson, Kevin Green, any of these cards are here, you lose only like 15 to 20k. That's not bad because there's so these are the only ones where you lose. So now right here, you break about even. So if you get one of the new, like the Andre Reed, maybe the Andre Reed goes for how much? He's going for it looks like 145. So right here is where you break even. But again, losing 12k to 15k isn't a bad loss. It's really not. When you look at now, look at what you could get. So as you start coming up here, you can get Calvin or Sean Taylor for 180k. You automatically make like 20k on that one. More than 20k, like 30k. You could get. Um. I think that's it for the 94s. We have to remember that there's so that these, you can get a 94, a 95, a 97, and a 98. So there's four categories to get. And realistically, only the first categories 
a barely loss. So if you get a 98, a 97, or a 95, you get major profit. If you only get, if you get a 94, you lose a little bit, then you just do it again next week. But so if you look at the 96 to 97s, the worst possible pull you get, you make 150k. Now let's go up. To, let's go up a little bit. You get the new Andre Reid, you make like 160k. Let's keep going up. See, it's hard to it's hard to know which ones are the ones that are showing up. Is it the Kraus? You get the new Phil uh, Paul Kraus. You made like 400k. If you go up and then no, that's, well, there's the Marty Dawson, but I think I saw him already, right? Okay, now if you get the Marty Dawson, you get a lot. No wait. No, if you get the Marty Dawson, you make like a few of like 500k at this point. I know it won't sell for 900, but oh, it's a limited time. Oh no, never mind. But I don't think you I don't think you can get the limited times out of there. To be completely honest with you, which would imply that you can't get Paul Cross either. But again, doesn't matter. You pull any of these cards, you still make over 200k easy, easy money. A little under 200k depending on how much you sell it for. Now, and if you snipe them out properly, even better. You lose nothing now. You could also get the 98. So you get Calvin Johnson. You make 300K clean. Sean Taylor, 300K clean. Now you wait till later at night at like 12 midnight. You put these up overnight for eight hours for like 470K. You might make 350K clean. And same thing with Sean Taylor. So just to reiterate, 98s, massive dub. 96, 97s, also a good dub. 95s. 30k profit is good in my book if it takes you literally a few minutes to do unless you want to snipe them but again it's easy money it's free money given to you now worst worst case scenario is worst case scenario is you lose like 20k i will gladly lose 20 it's like if there, if there was a pot that said okay there's like there's like 20 cups okay under 20 under like 50 oh, let's let's go 40 cups there's 40 cups and there's a prize under all of them under 20 to 30 cups, there are $100, okay? And under 10 cups, 15, 10 cups, there is no money. Now, it costs $20 to enter. Are you doing it? Yeah. $20 is whatever. So it's, like, it's like going out to eat. You're going to get a meal, 20 bucks. Now, you get nothing. Okay, you lost 20 bucks, but you get something. Oh, my God, it's $100. So it's like what you lose isn't going to hurt you that much. It literally, I know if you, even if you don't have coins, like 20k is literally just play a few solos, literally play a few solos, sell something in your binder. Like it's very simple. So 20k to win maybe 400k is a lot of money to make. 400k takes people so long to build up and you could get it like that just by playing, just by playing solos, saving up that extra coin you're going to lose and make it back. Like, and you can do this every week. Like, there's a reason why EA put a limit on it per week. If you haven't realized, all the stuff that are really good sets, they put a limit on per one. If I could do this set, I promise you, I would invest all my coins into this set. So I'll lose 20k, 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 Calvin Johnson. So I lost 80, made 400. It's very simple. It's just, it's simple probability here is that there's a high chance of you making coins. And there's also a high chance of you getting a 94. But the difference is, is that that high chance results in little risk. So it's just, if I, I should have made a spreadsheet for this to show you guys more properly. I hope you guys understand. So it comes down to everything in life is risk reward. It's, it's just like if someone told you you could go viral if you post this, this slightly embarrassing video of yourself. It's like a little embarrassment, whatever, you'll get over it. So, you know, whatever. But there's a chance of you hitting huge. It's always worth it. It's like a lot of tickets, dollar, a lot of tickets. Except dollar, a lot of tickets are very hard to win. A lot of money. These are not hard. These are like the odd dollar lotto tickets. It's really nothing. 20K is nothing. You could go make that in a few solos. You could literally play. You could win like five games on Weekend League. Five games out of 25 and make that coin. So just saying, highly recommend. I pulled the 95 Calvin Johnson. So I made about 30K. Is it useful for my team? Not too much, but it's 30K. Awesome to make. Yeah. Very, very good. And while I'm still here and I'm mentioning it, I also, if you haven't checked, go check it out on Twitter. I've got a 250 uh, coin thousand coin quick sell yesterday out of my daily quick sell on twitter i was like i was on i was streaming on twitch actually and i was like imagine i get the 350k one right now while eating wendy's and i actually pulled it and went wild if you haven't checked that video it's really funny go check it out on twitch they clipped it live so it's live reaction no edits or anything and it was streamed so you know no touch i didn't touch that video at all 
But that's about it for this video. I hope you got I hope it helps you guys a lot. And if you haven't checked out the last video, go check out that one because that's an awesome way to make coins too. I made coin, a lot of coins doing that. If you guys see my coins been rising from doing my own methods that I speak of, I don't I, I do what I preach for the most part. I don't just tell you guys to do things and then not do it. So if you've been enjoying these methods, you've been enjoying the channel, please drop the like, please drop the comment and the sub. The likes and comments go a long way if you guys didn't know. I'm just letting you guys know like user interaction between me and a and a the viewer is very important. I've noticed that videos where you guys ask a lot of questions and talk on and comment on and like, I get hundreds of views on. And then the videos that no one comments on, I get like 40 views on. So it's just a matter of how much you guys want to interact and help me out. I can't grow without your support. So I'd appreciate a lot of you guys could help me out. Also, we are now at two, we just hit 250k. Uh, not 250, ooh, we hit 250 subs as of the making of this video. We've shown all, it's been awesome support. It's only been a month and a half, 250 subs. Still aiming for July for the 1K mark. Hopefully, we can get there. So, if you guys could, it goes a long way. Go down below, drop the sub, drop the comment, drop the like. And I hope you watch this video throughout because I explained everything thoroughly throughout the whole video. I hope you guys make coins. And if you could, comment down below what you guys pulled, how much you made, or how much you lost. And maybe what I'll do is, if you tell me how much you made and how much you lost, maybe I'll reimburse one person for their loss. You guys send me on Twitter. If you guys lost 15, 20K, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll reimburse you. I'll pay for it. That's to one person. So comment down below how much you made, how much you lost. Send me a picture of it on Twitter. And just, that's it. And drop the like, drop the sub. And I'll reimburse one person what they, what they lost if they lost on my method. How's that sound? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys later.